Hello, and thank you for joining me again. This is Rob Wagoner with Microsoft, and today I wanted to talk to you about Failover Cluster Manager and live migration in a cluster. I've shown you this for Server 2008 R2, but I wanted to show it to you for Server 2012 and Hyper-V. So we in Server 2012, we configure the role, and we have plenty of roles to pick from. We'll choose Virtual Machine, and then we'll choose the actual virtual machine we're going to make highly available. So we'll choose the same Windows 7 virtual machine we've been working with. And then it'll go ahead and configure it. We'll get our report. Our result is green. We can view the detailed report if we want. But we'll just move on with the live migration. So now we have this virtual machine in the cluster, and it's ready to start up. Something I want to show you while this is starting. If I go over to Hyper-V Manager now and say Move, it's going to tell me it can't move this virtual machine from Hyper-V Manager because it's in a cluster. So once we're in a cluster, again, we need Failover Cluster Manager to do that migration for us. Now the virtual machine is up. I'll go ahead and connect to it and then come back when we're ready to do the live migration. Now that we're back, I've set up my screen for split screen so we can see the virtual machine running and Failover Cluster Manager manage this live migration. So the first thing I'll do is start the video. And then I'll move up to my Failover Cluster Manager and choose Move, Live Migration. And since I only have a two node cluster, I'm going to choose Best Possible Node because that'll be the other node. And now as we've started this, as you can see, it's moving pretty quick. Again, it doesn't have to move storage. All it's doing is moving the virtual machine from one host to the other. Live migration is complete. I'll go ahead and stop this now. Very straightforward, very quick, just like we expected. I hope this has been helpful, and I hope you have a good day.